hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Anastasia welcome everybody today I am leaving my house grabbing everything that I need for balloon garlands and going to my parents house why am I doing that because on their property they have two beautiful Christmas trees you guys I always wanted to create something with those trees they are big and beautiful and fluffy so I am grabbing three colors today purple mint and silver and I will try to create something with those trees always wanted to do that Today I am using Qualitex balloons along with orbs and foil balloons. All of my Qualitex balloons came from Lordell Paper and Balloon Company. I will link and list everything in the description under the video. Also, if you're a new customer to Lordell Paper and Balloon Company and this is your first purchase, you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout this is an affiliate code and it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not here's the thing i usually construct my balloon garlands with 12 inch balloons and mixing up those 12 with 16 to create the base and then i fill it in spaces with other balloons but today is a little bit different i am out of 12 inch balloons in my purple color so i will be mainly working with 16 inch balloons I don't mind a bit it's a challenge for me too and just because outside is such a huge area we need to fill in as much as we can in those Christmas trees so that's uh, what I'm thinking I, whatever I am taking today I usually take with me when I am doing balloon garlands for clients so hopefully it will be helpful let's go pack it up because we don't have a lot of time first things first of course my electric balloon pump with extension cords this is zoom and it's from Lord Dill paper and balloon company I will link everything that I will be mentioning in the description under this video go ahead and check it out now moving on to our balloons these are orbs balloons in 22 7 and i believe these are 24 or 28 i am not sure then we have some of pearl mint green balloons five inch we're mainly working with pearls today pearl lavender 16 and pearl lavender five these are three bags with 16 inch pearl balloons next i am grabbing my rubber bands 20 pound fishing line scissors my apron of course packed with lots and lots of things like glue dots my 260s balloons some rubber bands a curling ribbon and a few other things i believe if anything else i will mention a little bit later in the video and absolutely my hand pump to inflate my silver self-sealing orbs balloons i will explain why i am always using my hand pump on self-sealing foiled balloons a little bit later so additional stuff that I want to add in because who knows what can happen because you never know what can happen so I am adding some glue dashes balloon tying tool of course I can't forget my cameras my step ladder and lots and lots of uh, white cream looking flowers I might need it we'll see we'll see what we'll come up with <laughs> I am absolutely ready for summer. Even though I love winter, it needs to be a snowy winter and we don't have that. It's just cold. This is the spot where I want to build a balloon garland. Like right here, mix in my balloons with the branches of those trees and hopefully it's going to work out. And these Christmas trees won't pop my balloons. We'll, we'll test. A little bit of Russian for you guys. I know that you watch and support me. My name is Sergei, Natasha, Nikita and Vladik. A huge привет. Привет! I have two hours literally two hours to inflate my balloons and build the balloon garland because i need to go home and pick up kids from a school bus so let's not waste any time let's go get this done and it's gonna be gorgeous look what else i found these gorgeous gorgeous fluffies <laughs> this grass i knew that they had these uh bushes at their house they have three of them and they didn't cut them down yet one two there's another one three right there behind my car i might use these for my balloon garland now i don't know what to do either 
build my balloon garland here, even though it's a beautiful spot, or build it right over here, right, right here. Because already I will have these fluffies and it's gonna be a beautiful spot. I don't know, I'm still deciding. Here's what I decided. I will inflate my balloons, my clusters, and then I will go to two spots and measure my balloons against those two spots and see what I will like the best. I am inflating my 16 inch balloons at the same time and tying them together into a pair. I will be inflating 16 into 16, a little bit smaller, just to have a little bit of variety of sizes in my balloon garland. Extremely weird. I don't like to work with pearl balloons to be honest. They are pretty but very uncomfortable. To make them a little bit rounder, here's what I want to do one balloon inflated, and while inflating, I will be applying pressure right on top of my balloon. much better why am i pressing on top because i want the sides of my balloons to stretch more instead of for my air to stretch the balloons uh, upwards once i have four pairs of balloons i need to cluster them so i am grabbing two pairs and interwining them together very well so they would not go anywhere another one and interwining with the rest as well and our last pair into this cluster of balloons and here I have one beautiful big cluster of balloons we would need a few of these so let's keep inflating here's what I'm about to do I usually build my balloon garlands by tying necks of balloons of clusters together just because these are pearl balloons they are not as stretchy as your regular latex balloons so today i will be using my fishing line going back to where i started don't get me wrong i love my fishing line but it's a little bit um it's gonna take a little bit more time and um, I don't know, I might cut my balloons with fishing line because when you're pulling your fishing line and you pull it too hard, you can cut your balloons with fishing line. That's why I try to eliminate fishing line out of constructions of my balloon garland. So also, curling ribbon can't cut your balloons as well. And why I don't like to use curling ribbon because you can't see curling ribbon through the cracks of balloons so i rather use translucent fishing line another trick that i can give you about fishing line is that you need to put your spoolie of fishing line into a loose pocket either it's a coat or this special apron i got this apron as you can see from laura del paper and balloon company this way spoolies on rolling and giving you all the fishing line that you need without tangling around other balloons that you don't really need to be tangled in your fishing line i hope that makes sense so now i am grabbing my fishing line and tying this fishing line around my first cluster of balloons i am using 20 pound fishing line to construct my balloon garland you can absolutely use 20 30 40 pound fishing line whatever is comfortable for you make sure when you're tying knots on your fishing line knots will stay in place and they will not untangle i noticed the thicker fishing line i have the tougher it is to tie knots on that thicker fishing line so now i am grabbing my second cluster of balloons putting down right on top of my first cluster of balloons applying pressure on my second cluster just pushing with my hand grabbing my fishing line and starting to interwine or wrap my fishing line around balloons on one side on the other side going back to the bottom cluster to make sure everything nice and tight together and while you're doing that, apply pressure on your top cluster and pull on your fishing line. Be careful not to cut your fingers because I've done that so many times and be careful not to pull on your fishing line too hard because as I said, you can cut your balloons again around older, uh, newer cluster and back to older cluster, back and forth 
until you're happy and you notice that your clusters are not separating from each other and they're not like sliding apart. This looks great. Now I'm ready to add another cluster. So this is basically what I will be doing. You guys also to keep your clusters from sliding from each other, when you're happy with the tightness of your balloon garland, grab the fishing line and wrap the fishing line around your balloon a couple of times. That will stop your balloons from sliding apart. You don't have to place your clusters right on top of a previous cluster. You can change the uh, kind of like direction of your balloon garland by placing your clusters slightly to the side. That can't work as well. So what I'm doing right now, instead of putting right on top, I am going on a side over here. So something like this, grabbing my fishing line, and again, wrapping and doing my thing, whatever I did with my first clusters and newer balloons, older balloons, and all the way around. go measure this balloon garland let me show you how i secure my balloon so i cut a long piece of fishing line i am holding my fishing line with one hand grabbing that tail and going around one of the balloons just like this and now i created this loop over here grabbing the tail and fitting the tail through the loop grabbing the tail again that i just put through the loop and pulling on it this way I am creating knots. Do that a couple or a few times to make sure everything is nice and secure. Oh no, <laughs> one down. Okay, here's what I'm trying to do. I hope you can hear me. If anything, I'll do a voiceover, but I am trying to close these gaps as you can see in the trees and kind of fill it in with balloons grabbing my fishing line and tying this garland straight to my trees. To attach my extra clusters of balloons, I am using rubber bands. I am looping my rubber band over my balloons. And now I have this loop and I'm ready to attach to my balloon garment. I am using a hand pump to inflate my orbs balloons because orbs balloons, self-sealing balloons, foil balloons, they have this plasticky insert in them and electric balloon pump can rip them with that force of air. That's why I am using a hand pump. I on purpose under inflated my orbs balloons just a little bit. There's two different ways that you can attach your orbs balloons to your balloon garland. I'm going to show you two. Hi you guys, I'm very cold <laughs> as you can see the reflection. But anyways, you're taking two 60s balloons, grabbing this tail, putting your two 60s right on it, wrap this tail on your 260 and start rolling 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 until you reach the end grab your 260s and tie a knot just like this and now you're good to go and tie your orbs on your balloon garland orbs balloons are a great way to add fullness to your balloon garland it doesn't have to be orbs balloons it can be 24 or 36 inch balloons as well it is so gloomy now. I hope it's not going to rain. I really hope it's not going to rain. It's snowing, not raining. It's gonna take me quite a while to include this. Guys, I never do this, but I feel like I would have to do this and use this. I rarely, rarely do this, but I'm taking a chance here. Watch till the end to see the difference when I inflated my orbs with hand pump and electric balloon pump. Crazy. Oh, 
phones. They can't hear a thing. Okay, at least we got one. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Here's another way that I use how to attach my Orbis balloons. I am grabbing my rubber band, folding in half, wrapping around this tail, taking one side of my rubber band and through the loop, pulling my other end and tightening. And I'm ready to go and attach my orbs. I will be using 260 for these balloons because I feel like it's a little too windy and I believe my 260s will hold um, these balloons a little bit better and more secure on my balloon garland. added so much fullness now let's inflate smaller size and then we'll get two five inch latex balloons with my five inch balloons i am inflating them and tying them into pairs then from pairs i am making quads and then tying quads together to create smaller size balloon garlands out of five inch balloons i am attaching these smaller size balloon garlands to my garland with rubber bands wanted to point out these two large orbs balloons as you can see they started to deflate and i used an electric balloon pump for them look at the third one that i inflated with a hand pump such a huge difference no wrinkles i specifically left a little bit of wrinkles because i didn't want to over inflate the balloon and over inflating can cause for the balloon to pop so huge difference i wanted to save some time and it's taking away from my work right so i rather use a hand pump spend a little bit more time oh well next time i'll definitely know i wanted to save time just to get inside and get warm <laughs> but hey never again never again such a huge difference and of course how could i pass this opportunity i am cutting my parents bush to use these fluffies and i love the final outcome at first i didn't like how my fluffies looked until i started giving different levels to my bunches and everything tied together and looked beautiful help. my help we're cleaning this now 